Yeah, absolutely. Because Sprinkles always acted weird right before mom's cancer diagnosis. We actually took note of that. Yeah, dogs can definitely sniff out cancer. Hmm, what was my favorite trip with Sprinkles? Honestly, Sprinkles passed before I got a car. So I didn't really get to take too many. Well, that's not entirely true. I took a few trips with Sprinkles, but nothing like really outside of the city. Unfortunately. Ironically, she got out of the city once by herself. And <laughs> that's a thing. So Sprinkles gets all the way out to Clarendon, Maryland by herself by hitchhiking with random people. She walks out, gets out of the gate because I guess the um, <coughs> the cable person or electric person left the gate open. I actually buried my dog. It was intense, but I think a good way to uh, help the grieving process. So a lot of this dirt is clay from where she was buried. And digging through clay is not easy. But I got it done, so yeah. A little bit about my dog. Well, her name was Sprinkles. She was a toy poodle. And at the time she was, when she passed, she was 13, going on 14. Yeah, she was an older dog, but she had a lot of illnesses because she was a toy. And smaller dogs, they're usually born with different problems and things like that. Yeah, she was the best dog. I know everyone says that about their dog, but she was actually the best dog. Yeah. Back when I used to break the law and do what the kids call the drugs, I was probably like 15, maybe 14. And I go to my house, high out of my mind, just crazy. And I fall asleep on the couch in the living room with the weed in my hand, like, an, like a dumbass. And I wake up to the sound of my parents coming home and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm fucked, <laughs> there we go. So get up, they're talking to me, and I realize that the weed is gone. So I'm like, all right, that's weird. But I, you know, play it cool, talk to them, everything's fine. I'm like, okay. They're either messing with me or the weed has just walked away. <laughs> and I don't think it walked away. So I talk to them some more, everything's fine. They don't mention anything. I'm like, all right, have dinner, go back down to my room. So I'm like, okay, I'm not in trouble of any kind, but where is my weed though? <laughs> and so I looked down underneath my desk in my room. I fell asleep upstairs in the living room and I looked down under the desk in my room and the weed bag is right there with a little tooth mark in it. One single tooth mark. And then I hear pitter patter, pitter patter. And she just like steps in the, like, in the doorway and looks at me and I'm like, you're a real one. <laughs> You're a real one. And ever since then, it's been me and her. Yeah. Definitely the Pikachu to my Ash Ketchum. Yeah, so it was really hard to bury her. Because we like went through shit together. What other things did we go through together? Uh, my mom's cancer. So my mom is still alive, but she had cancer a few times. And so Sprinkles was there for all of that. And, you know, even when I was at school and things like that, Sprinkles would stay with my mom and just sit by where her tumor was and just like, you know, put her body heat on her. And my mom said that helped her a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and switch shoes. Yeah. Yeah, my mom said that helped her a lot. 
So I thank Sprinkles for that. I don't know if my mom would have done so well with the multiple cancer she had if it wasn't for Sprinkles. Because my mom had cancer two or three times. Can dogs sniff out cancer? Yeah, absolutely. Because Sprinkles always acted weird right before mom's cancer diagnosis. We actually took note of that. Yeah, dogs can definitely sniff out cancer. Hmm, what was my favorite trip with Sprinkles? Honestly, Sprinkles passed before I got a car. So I didn't really get to take too many, well, that's not entirely true. I took a few trips with Sprinkles, but nothing like really outside of the city. Unfortunately, ironically, she got out of the city once by herself, and that's a thing. So Sprinkles gets all the way out to Clarendon, Maryland by herself by hitchhiking with random people. She walks out, gets out of the gate because I guess the... um the cable person or electric person left the gate open while she was outside. That's what dogs do. That is what dogs do. Sprinkle say a word. Y'all really sleep? Okay. Right. Y'all sleep, I'm awake. And so she went out and walked all the way down the street towards the highway and a lady picked her up. And so... One lady picked her up, left her with a friend because she was going out of town or something. Then Sprinkles escapes from the friend's house and gets picked up by someone else. They take her to their son's house. The son lets Sprinkles out to run around in the back. Sprinkles can fit through the gate in their house, leaves their house, walks to another lady's house not too far from there and after eight days, we find her. Yeah, and so we're talking to the first lady back and forth. Pissed at her because she lost her dog, but I mean, we lost her in the first place, I guess. But she got away. She was on, on moves real bad. And so we finally found her and that was, that happened last year actually. So maybe Sprinkles knew it was her time and she was gonna have her little last hurrah. And she did. We have pictures of her in people's cars with like, just smiling and having a great time. <laughs> so I'm glad that she was able to take a little trip. But yeah, I've always taken her to the woods and parks in the area. One of her favorite parks is um, Fort Reno. Yeah. What did these shoes mean to me when I first purchased them? Adventure.